Hello, my beautiful Leo dragons. Welcome to your little love reading for, well, right now. So um, let's go ahead and get some cards. We're going to start with singles. Okay. And um, once I'm done with singles, so if you're part of a couple, you can watch, you can skip forward ahead if you want. They aren't long. You might listen to the singles. <sighs> Depending on how, where you are in relationships, like, I think that I can do 20 different readings for love. Um, so if you identify as single, but um, sometimes another energy comes in. Anyways, it's all very complicated, isn't it? So anyways, guys, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Please give me a card right now for Leo singles. What does Leo need to know? What's going on with Leo? was a clean one. Ah, there we go. Codependency. So addictions are affecting your romantic life. So maybe you keep um, getting into relationships um, because you need them, right? Um, you're dependent on somebody to provide you something, but what you don't realize is you need to provide it to yourself. Um, being single, I can only, only assume that this is how you're, how you go about dating, right? So this would be different if it were a relationship reading, but this is assuming that you are single. Yeah, so you have wedding rings flipped out. So union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. I get the feeling like you really just want to be married. For some reason, you're, um there's something to do with a wedding and you're codependent on it. Like you're very dependent on that label of being married. Um, remember this is for singles. So I don't know if you're going about it the wrong way. And instead of finding a partner, you're trying to just find somebody who suits the label. Let's get some more cards for you guys for Leo. So also if this doesn't resonate with you, um, I encourage you to find your Venus sign could be your moon. Um, could also be your north node. So because a lot of times like love readings, it's about what you're going through and what your soul's journey is. And it has a lot to do with, um, yeah, like our love lives have a lot to do with our soul's journey if you think about it. So it could be that. Come on, give me some more cards. Go after this one. one from the top, one from the bottom. Okay, so yeah, and one from the bottom. Oh, guys. Okay, so yeah, guys, Leo is singles. Listen, you're, you're not making a decision. You've closed your, your eyes and your ears off to, um, to, to, to trying to figure a way out of this. You're not making the choice right? Like you have these choices and you're not doing it. Could have something to do with the Gemini, but that's not huge. Um, you are, you're blocking your emotions. And I feel like you are not, you're not in your power. It, it's almost like you've blocked your ability to even move on from this codependent um, way of being. Okay, you have the Two of Cups, guys. So you, yeah, you're blocking yourself from this partnership, right? You do want to find, you do want to, you're being encouraged, you need to follow your heart. And I think that right now you're confused with codependent in what you think things should be instead of just opening up and saying no you know what this is really what I want not what I need need okay there's things you need when it comes to being in relationships okay is it ego okay are, are you fighting with your ego because that's not a good way of going about things it's what do you need so you need to I really am hearing the word release you need to release whatever this codependent marriage type situation is. 
Maybe you're in a marriage, you're in a relationship, but you're not. Maybe you've been single for a very long time, but you won't let go of it. You won't let go of this relationship and you need to, okay? You need to make the choice to move on. You need to lead from your heart, okay? Um, okay, Leo, that was pretty heavy. <laughs> so uh, what I would say is you, you need to, Leo, singles, you need to just let go of the past and realize that there's better things for you in the future. Okay. Watch how you're talking to yourself. Watch what you're letting come into. Watch what you're allowing to come into your existence. Okay. All that I, I hear, what I just heard was negative self-talk. So I feel like you're just, you don't feel confident and you need to go and gain that, but in a healthy way. Okay, because with the codependence, that's not healthy. Okay, it's it's not healthy. Okay, Leo couples. Couples. Let's see. Okay, so we have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So if you are in a relationship, okay, if you have a partner, you're calling to trust your partner on something. Let's get some clarification on this. One or two cards, please, for Leo couples. What is going on with Leo? No, they didn't want to come out. There's one. I feel like you just really have to trust this person. Yeah, it takes time. So you guys are going through something. You're having to place trust in them. And... Um, I, I hear that you have to trust them to do the right thing, okay? With this clock, okay, it's going to take time, um, but it's also about them making progress with this. I don't know what this is about. It could be, I don't get the feeling like it's a romantic thing. I feel like it's more of a um, stability thing, right? That, that you're trusting somebody to do something for the family. Um... And I, I feel that, you know, if you do trust them, right, and you open up to them and you have good communication with them, you will realize, like, it, it's going to heal some things too, but I think that it'll help it progress faster because they know that they have your support. Okay, can I get some cards, please, for Leo couples? Ooh. Ton of cups. Yeah, see, you have you have good things coming. So, Ten of Wands was in reverse. I just went to flip it. Yeah, so, and the Fool. So, you have two tens. Okay, tens are about endings and completed cycles. I really get the feeling like things are moving and you're really having to have faith and trust in your partner that they know what they're doing. Ten of Cups in the Upright is about family and the good life, harmony, right, and happiness. And I feel that you're, both of you are trying to move towards this. Your Ten of Wands is in reverse, okay? It's about lifting a burden, okay? Um, and, and a freedom from having too many responsibilities, okay? So you're sort of starting a new um, um, cycle. And it could be that, um, it could be that you're just, you guys are sort of, a, like, you might feel a little bit stuck, like it was, it took a lot to sort of get there. Um, so you're ending things, but here's the funny thing is that the fool is in reverse. So I really get the feeling like you're trying to hold back and say, I don't think this is the right time. And I think this is where the trust comes in, is that you guys need to have open, clear, and concise communication, and you need to make sure that you're connecting on a level and that you're on the same, um, you're on the same level with this, okay? Um, because you, you, you have to look at this, you have to hold hands together, right? You need to move through this together, okay? And, you know, you have to make sure that you don't put, make it a huge burden on them. Okay, because it might it might not end well if if you're adding stress to the stress, right? So, and communicate, 
right? Both of you can communicate that you're, you know, stressed about the situation. It's okay, right? It's not to put it on them and it's not for them to put it on you, but it's for you to realize that you're in it together, okay? So Leo, that is your little love reading. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye guys.